The latest mission to the International Space Station, with ESA astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti on board. Europe continues to play a wide-ranging role on the space station. Apart from training astronauts, it has been operating the station's Columbus Science Laboratory since 2008 and has built five automatic transfer vehicles. These massive ATV cargo ships supply the station with everything from propellant to food, as well as carrying more than 250 scientific experiments since the programme began. ESA also contributed the space station's connecting modules, nodes 2 and 3, allowing the passage of astronauts and equipment from one part of the station to another. Node 3 includes the cupola. It provides more than just a great view. It's a command tower for robotic operations in orbit. What is coming up at the ministerial conference uh, this year is a proposal to extend the operation of the International Space Station for the next three years or get the funding for the operation of the next three years. And that includes, of course, not only purely the operation of Columbus, it uh, includes sustaining engineering activities, the operation of our European Astronaut Center, the training of the astronauts, and of course, the participation in the MPCV program in a cooperation with NASA where Europe is building on the basis of the ATV experience the service module for an exploration vehicle which will bring humans beyond low Earth orbit in the future. This is also part of uh, the program proposal that is on the table for this ministerial. Orion, the MPCV or multi-purpose crew vehicle, would use a service module built by ESA. This is the first time US partners have trusted Europe on a critical system for a crew vehicle. By carrying people beyond low Earth orbit, the next generation of space exploration could include manned missions to the moon, with the possibility of participating with other partners in lunar exploration. In parallel, the European Space Operations Centre in Germany was the focus of worldwide interest recently with the Rosetta mission after it successfully performed the first ever landing on a comet. Humankind has always been attracted to things that have never been done before, and this is where human spaceflight and operations plays a key role in the future.